Hello Optometrist, the healthcare professions. Do you still believe that giving 6x6 or 20x20 of the visual equity is the end of refraction? Do you know a right pair of the glasses means a good refraction helps a lot to your patients? Then how do you ensure that your refraction is correct and accurate? Well, there are various ways in which you can confirm the accuracy of your refraction. If you are not aware of the techniques, then don't worry. Optometer Rails is going to help you in that. Today in this session, I am going to discuss about the Jackson Cross Lender, which is JCC. But before I go ahead, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe it, click on the bell icon and yes, please like the video and be at the end to know all the minute details of the JCC. Friends, this technique of refining the excess and the power of the cylinder is also known as a flip cross technique. So JCC can be 0 0.25, 0 0.5 or even higher than that. So the cross cylinder that you are seeing in my hand is a 0.5 diopter means it is a sphero cylindrical components having plus 0.5 as a sphere and minus 1 as a cylinder. So cylinders are double and opposite of the sign and if you do the spherical equivalent it will be 0. So this technique is performed when circle of least confusion is at retina which can be achieved by doing the technique of fogging in the refraction. So first we refine or first we find out the spherical component and then we introduce this Jackson cross cylinder and we flip to refine the axis and the power. So I'll take you to the clinic and show you how step by step can be done on actual patient. Let me show you how JCC can be done on actual patient. So we did a fogging and we have got minus 2.5 as a sphere, base sphere and the cylinder what I have got is 1.75 at the axis of 100. So I'll be using this JCC to refine the axis and the power. First we have to refine the axis. So remember that we have to keep this handle parallel to the axis of this cylinder. So and you have to ask your patient which among this is better. So this is condition 1 and this is condition 2. So let me know which is giving you a better vision this or this this, this one. So what you can see on the JC this is a green line this is a red line. So we have to green means it's a minus and the lens inside is a minus lens. So we have to rotate towards the green side. The patient says this is better. So we have to rotate 10 degree towards the green side. Again, you have to ask this same question. This is better or this is better. This or this. Almost same. Almost same. So what it suggests that we have achieved the best or accurate axis for that cylindrical power. So now we have to define the power of that cylindrical lenses. For that, what we have to do, we have to keep this axis which is there on the JCC parallel to the lens axis. So what I am, you can see the handle is slightly at 45 degree and the, the cylinder is at 120 what we have already achieved. So now you ask the same question this condition A or this one is better or when the red line is parallel which is better this or this this is. So we know that this green line is better means this is a 0.5 adapter of the JCC. So we have to add 0.5 to this. So this is 1.75. So we have to add 0.5 to this. So it will be 2.25 at the same 120 axis. Again, ask the same question. This is better or this is better? Same. Both are same. Okay, this is better or this is better. This is better. This is better. So it means minus 2.25 at 120 axis is the actual cylindrical value. Friends, remember one very important thing about the JCC. Whenever you refine the power of that JCC and you make a change of 0.5 adapter, you have to make adjustment to the sphere also. So from 1.75, we made 0.2.25. So it means we the changes were of 0.5 diopter. So we have to add 
0.25 to this sphere to make it 2.25 so i'm going to change this from 2.5 to 2.25 now can you read the chart yeah can you read gtpdk and the patient is successfully reading and comfortably can read the 6 by 6 of the visual equity this is how we can achieve the best corrected visual equity using this jcc and how the axis of this cylinder and the power can be refined with the jcc so i hope this video was useful and informative to you please like share and subscribe the channel